Hey again, James here from Content Snare and JimmyRose.me. Uh, this is just a follow-on video from the last one uh, where we created, well, we caught a webhook in Zapier, um, in this case from ActiveCampaign. And in this one, we're gonna show you how to filter webhooks that come in um, and only continue uh, with the zap or the automation if certain conditions are true. So this can uh, come in pretty handy uh, if, for example, you're using a cart system like Thrivecart's, the one I use, it will send a webhook for every event that happens. So that might be an order success, like a brand new order. It might be a subscription rebill. It might be a, um, a credit card failure or something like that. But let's say we only want to fire, we want to put something in our to-do list to go and say thank you to someone that signed up. Now, you don't want that to happen for every single subscription rebill or for a failure, uh, a credit card failure. You only want to do that for the order success, for example. Uh, so, in that case, we'd want to filter based on the event name that's came in to be order success. Or um, you might want to filter based on if someone's provided a company name or if they've said they've got two to five employees or something like that. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you a very simple example here. Following on from the Zap we created in the last video, which you should go and watch if you haven't already. Um, basically, um, we're just gonna go um, add a filter in the middle here. Now filters are a special kind of step in a Zapier automation that allows you to choose some conditions and basically will, as it says here, only continue if these conditions are true. So in this case, uh, we've caught a hook from Active Campaign that's got a bunch of data with it, as you can see here. So we could filter on any of these things. So maybe we wanna say, we only wanna say thank you to people who signed up on the small agency one plan. So we're gonna say only continue if that exactly matches and what was it? We had small agency one. Continue. Now we do a test. So we say test if the filter is working. In this case, the zap would continue to run. So we'll uh, continue. In this case, we've already finished everything. But um, if you missed the previous video, I'm creating a, a Trello card as a to-do list for myself to go and thank someone that's just signed up. Uh, but before we go on, I'm just going to show you some more advanced uh, ways you can filter things. So that was a pretty specific, very basic example uh, where if a certain uh, piece of data exactly matches some text I put in. So you can get pretty uh, complex here if you had a lot of different conditions you need to match. So for example, if I add a new one here, uh, we're doing an and. So that's going to say if this and this matches a... Um, so both of those have to be true for this zap to go through. Now, I'm not really sure what I can do here. Maybe, okay, if they've got a referral credit, um, greater than $10, whatever that happens to be. It's just a you know, pretty specific example, but this can be anything. So we're talking, we can do numbers, we can do text. So you can see there's lots of different things there. You could search for, um, you could make sure text doesn't contain a certain, um, string that you type in. You can look at dates and times to be before or after. So I think I have a sign up date maybe here or a trial ends date is um, after, I think you can write now in Zapier. So um, in that case, basically the trial end, uh, we're sorry, we're only gonna run this if they're still in their trial because their trial end date is after today. Um, and then finally, you can use ORs. So if I was to put this here, this is gonna run as a group first. So if this and this and this is true, or this. So, um, you know, maybe for everyone named Jimmy, we're going to continue on. No matter what the rest of these are, because this one would fire as true, and because of the OR condition, um, this would actually go through. And remember, you can always test. So if you're not sure if this is gonna work, you just hit continue and it will tell you whether it will pass based on those conditions or not. And it'll highlight the ones. So in this case, basically everything is passing. 
Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, that, that shows you how to filter out. Uh, th- this is, doesn't even just apply to webhooks. This applies to pretty much everything in Zapier. Um, but this is just applied specifically to webhooks. You can filter on basically anything you like. Um, and it's super handy. I'll uh, catch you in the next video.